KNWA News at 5. Well, a legal battle between a homeowner and the city of Fayetteville heats up over rental property rules. Good evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Doug Warner. Well, tonight, for the first time, we're hearing from the Texas couple, a couple behind the suit who said they bought the house to visit their daughter whenever they wanted. She lives here. But the rub here, they plan to also use it as rental property, and that's where the battle ensues. KNWA's Gabriella Phelan, you've been investigating this suit for months now, and they told you they almost feel targeted. Doug, they say they began the process of purchasing a house on June 26th of last year with plans to rent it out when they weren't here. But just days later, the city introduced a cap on short-term rentals and denied the family's permit request along with many other neighbors, even before reaching the maximum number, a move that made them feel their neighborhood was singled out. We're finding out that there was already a target on our neighborhood even before we purchased our home. And there was no way of us knowing those things, you know. I know that the, you know, the city argues that we didn't do our research or, you know, things or, but, you know, we certainly did. Shelly and Steve House say their home in Fayetteville is currently sitting vacant while they live in Round Rock, Texas. And tonight at 9, you'll, the House family shares with me about how it has affected them and what the city has to say in response. Live in studio, Gabriella Phelan, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. All right, we'll see you back here at 6 o'clock. For months now, we've been covering this lawsuit as well as Fayetteville's housing crisis that it declared back in April. You can find all of that coverage on our website, knwa.com.